Coming up in this week's episode, Martin lets off a bomb in the chicken coop. It's like Guy Fawkes. Wait a minute, I'll, I'll grab the fire extinguisher. All right, well, we oh, shall... Oh, dear. There we go. Oh, God, that got oh, me. Oh, dear. <laughs> While Julie helps set up a wedding tent. I feel like vomiting. No, this is super hard. I would just do this. This is like... <laughs> Anne learns how to make the perfect fire. But will she follow my instructions? Or will we all go up in smoke? Oh, oh. That is a problem. <gasps> so I think we're going to... That is know, really problem. try and encourage this flame because as soon as you've got a lot of flame, oh, gosh. you have less smoke and, the, and it will get Safe. more up the chimney instead of out into the room. This is why I don't do fires. Welcome to Mapperton, our family home and estate in Dorset in the southwest of England. Julie and I took over running Mapperton a few years ago from my parents, the Earl and Countess of Sandwich. It's a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. This place is full of fascinating stories, extraordinary people, and endless repairs. So please join our family on this journey of a lifetime as we put all our efforts into preserving this magnificent part of England's heritage. So I'm bringing my husband Luke into the hall here. It has just been swept and what, I the, helped. The chimney as you or know. the floor? <laughs> I don't believe you ever swept very, the floor. Very funny. She's never swept oh the floor. My, yes, I, I do everything here at Matt Britton, literally everything. So, you, so, so take you, that back, take that so back. So you've swept the chimney as well? Yeah, well, yeah, you were there, you saw me. So chimney's been swept and I thought it would be a really good idea for us to lay the fire and to teach me <laughs> how to lay it properly. By the way, I have laid the fire before. She's never but, laid the fire yes, before. Yes, I have absolutely laid it, but not very well. I just sort of like go throw, with you it. You just throw it all in. We're middle of August here, and it feels like middle of April, because it yeah. will not stop raining. It's jumper. about That's the jumper 16 best. degrees centigrade, which is about 60 Fahrenheit, S anyway. Um, well, but the hope is that we're going to be able to lay a fire that is going to be lovely and warm, and we're going to be able to sit here and enjoy our cups of tea. But in, the the critical, of, in the middle of August. But the critical <laughs> thing is that, first of all, I have to teach Julie how to lay a fire, and she doesn't like getting much instruction from me on anything. No. Mm -mm. So let's see how this goes. Okay. First of all, good old bits of newspaper, in this case, the Financial Times, which is much better suited to the fire, I think, uh, at this stage. Uh, we've got some kindling and we've got some dried logs. And what we do is we start off with oh. the paper. And I actually think the paper is the most important part because what can often happen is that people just lay the paper down and you don't roll it up properly. No, I roll so, you so, scrunch it up, so right? I'm, so I'm just gonna give you an example okay. and then you're gonna do it and you're gonna lay the rest of the fire. Okay. So I'm gonna lay a little bit of it and then Julie's going to try and do okay. it. Okay. okay. So, so the way I do it is, is yes, yeah, scrunch it up so that it's got kind of body. You know, it wants to be a little bit springy because it wants to allow the air to come through the springy bits. At the same time, it doesn't want to be so springy that it all comes apart like that. So there is a middle way. There's a way to get springiness. There's like a perfect way to there scrunch is. up and, and, and paper. So you, so you do it like that and then you do a little twist, a little twist in the middle. And there you have the perfect piece of rolled up Financial Times. Okay. This isn't going well. Yes, it is. This is, is springy. You no, said no, no, springy. It's, it's sort of coming apart. Well, so I have to twist it okay, in the so middle. Do the twist. Do the twist and twist a bit more. There you go. Now look at it. That's not bad. I'd say that was a bit bunched up at that end because you know, the air can't get better anyway. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so, now. Over to, over to you. And then we put these down into the fireplace one by one. Okay. And here is another piece for you. Okay. Right, here we go. Make sure it's springy. Another piece for me. Yeah, so don't. So when you roll it in, sort of collapse it in like this. And then so a little it, twist. So that it hasn't got a big flat surface of paper because that doesn't allow the air in. Okay. And then a bit of a twist. Exactly, and then we got that one. Oh look, we've got something really useful here. Like? An old piece of burnt wood, because okay. that is going to catch fire. 
really easy. And we've got some leaves and probably some bits of jackdaw nests that have come down the chimney. Very grateful to the birds for giving us a bit of extra Okay, extra okay, fuel. let's get a move on here. Right, now we've made that, we want to compress that down a bit. Okay. And now we want to lay the kindling on it. Just anywhere. And so we've got all these pieces of kindling here and we want to do pieces oh, like Oh, I thought that. you had like, like a tent, no? Um, well, you could, but we've got quite a lot of paper here. Okay, now what? Right, now I would choose a piece of wood that is, looks really dry and a bit thinner. I put the thinner piece first. That's thin. This one looks even thinner than that one. Okay. And I think it would make a good first piece, sort of up on one side like that. Okay, and then? And then we've got this one so here. So you do make it like a little tent. Go up like that, like a little tent, and then that one I think can just go on the top. And then matches. we need ignition, which is kindly supplied by. So what do I, I like? I light the newspaper, correct? Where, now, where do you think you light it? From where underneath. From underneath, exactly, because. Because it needs to go up. Because, exactly. <laughs> because it needs to draw the air right up, right, from okay. below. So, oh um, my gosh. This, now this fireplace, um, has she done it? She's done it. This Look fireplace um, has a glass screen here and the reason it's got a glass screen is because it doesn't draw very well which means that often the smoke ends up coming not up the chimney but into the room which leads to an incredibly smoky room and we have to open all the windows and yeah, there's a lot splutter of smoke away there. because you can see we already have a problem here we've got smoke coming up out of the side of the screen because we've got to get a really good flame going. Okay, I'm doing my as best. As soon as possible, yeah. Doing my best. I'm not sure this is working. Oh, oh. That is a problem. <gasps> so I think we're gonna, that we're is gonna a really problem. try and encourage this flame, because as soon as you've got a lot of flame, oh, gosh. you have less smoke, and, the, and it will get See? more up the chimney instead of out into the room. This is why I don't do fires. All so that. This has not been successful. Oh dear. Yeah, I would say almost every other time we lay the fire here, we give ourselves problems. <laughs> right, come on. Here. It's going, okay. Uh -huh. I think. Look at that, that is an even pace. Okay. It's beautifully done. Yeah, You're look, very look. good at it. Yeah, there's, mm -hmm, there's smoke coming out. So this, this is one of my jobs now, is it? Yeah, this is gonna be, yeah. Right. I mean, listen, you've been doing this your whole life. I haven't. It's true. Now we you just, know. now we need some marshmallows. Yeah, for here the dead. Okay, do we I think, think we're happy? Look at, at much better with at the, the smoke. Moment, we've got the flame going up. It was very fun to the watch logs you. Are catching <laughs> and we can relax with our cup of tea. I've been relaxed in, for a while. In the height of summer just... with a log fire here at Mapperton. Join us on Patreon for a fireside special at Mapperton, as well as lots of other exclusive behind the scenes content. So we're here at the coach house, which many of you will recognize as the place that we actually, um, it, where the cafe is, and actually where I've done my yoga retreats, but this is where our cafe is, the coach house, delicious food, all that good stuff, but this is also where weddings happen. These guys have been uh, kept very, very busy, especially this year. Hi. Hi. Hello. So Charlie is the main, well, this is your company. This is Tattle Farm Tents and you do all of our marquees here. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. 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 How many years have you been doing marquees here? Uh, this is our, here we've been doing it for about four years, I yeah. think. And would you say that this is your, the busiest season you've ever had <laughs> because there weren't any weddings last year? This is a, a, a different season to normal, yeah. <laughs> we've had a bit of a backlog of weddings, so it's, it's really, really busy. Yeah, yeah so it's really yeah. busy. Um, so fantastic. So you're, and you're here quite a lot, aren't you? Because we've got quite a lot of weddings this Normally season. Normally twice a week, yeah. yeah. Midweek weddings and, and weekend weddings, yeah. Yeah, midweek yeah. weddings. I know we have midweek weddings now to fit everybody from 2020. Uh, who couldn't get married That's right, into, yeah. into here. Yeah. All right, so tell me what you're doing now. Uh, is you're setting up the marquee, but I don't even know what that involves, but I see lots of nails going in. Well, the marquee's up, so it's additional space for the coach house. Uh, yeah. the, 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 mat the nails going in is the matting on the floor. Right. Um, I quite want to. So these guys, yeah, give it a go. Can There's I give it, nails. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but this Com is your co company. You run it with your brother. Yeah, it's my company. I run it with John, my brother. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've been doing it for eight years. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. You guys are like <laughs> super fast, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, show you how okay. it's done. You've got okay, to twi wait, so twist the nail through I, the matting. So what you're going to do is try and get the uh -huh. sort of the corner bit there uh -huh. down through. 
Okay. And then find the other bit, so about that, like there. Mm -hmm. Stick it in. What? I thought you were just gonna like give me a hammer. I was gonna like <laughs> nail it in. Yeah. And then I'm gonna, See. okay. Oh. That's good, that's good. Oh, no, there you go. Okay, that was, okay. <laughs> so now I'm gonna try to equal that, okay? Okay, here we go. All the way in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of crooked now. Have I? <laughs> it's really crooked. That's right. Sometimes. Keep going all the way in. <laughs> 13, 14, 15. No, this is super hard. I would just do this. This is like. <laughs> That's how I would do it. Okay, you're probably like, she's fired. Don't ever <laughs> have her come here again. That is rubbish. That'll scary. come out. Okay, I'm gonna hand the hammer back the for a job poorly done. You. Um, you guys are super <laughs> fast. I've been seeing you do this. Like in the time that I basically arrived two seconds ago, you had done all these, done all these nails. Okay, what about the lights though? Who's doing the lights? John's on the lights. Is that your brother? No, that's my uncle John. Is that Uncle John? My brother's also John, but that's your brother. Uncle John. Okay. <gasps> uh, so we line the pathway. That's lovely. Leading up to the coach house with festoon lights either side of the pathway. Okay. Looks I'm, lovely at night. That looks fantastic. Um, brilliant. So this is, so you're almost done here. No. Nearly done. We've got some furniture to, for inside the coach house and some furniture for the ceremony on the croquet lawn as well. Oh, so you do the, because everybody, there's the, the ceremony, you can get married here in the church, but most people do it on the croquet lawn at the croquet pavilion. They'll set up chairs on the croquet lawn. The pavilion's like ordained. I don't know, but they can actually legally get married there. All right, I'm gonna go say hi to Uncle John. Cool. Um, thanks so much, Charlie. Thanks, Will. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Sorry about that. Super sorry. <laughs> really bad. I'm gonna go visit Uncle John right now. Hi, Uncle John. Hi. hi I'm Julie. Hello, Julie. Nice to meet you. Nice I've to just, meet you. I just, um, Charlie said uh, I could head over here and I can see you're putting up the beautiful lights for the wedding. Is that right? Yes. And do they stay on the whole time? Very, very simple. Just turn them on and off and just screw them in and they'll stay there in a hurricane. So will you turn these off though? These yes, will... These, these will be turned off and then okay. normally so early evening we turn them on. So uh, suddenly exciting, T push and twist. Okay, push and twist. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> Clearly it is. When I arrived here and I saw these light bulbs, I was like, what are these? Like, how do these work? Because I'm certain, correct me if I'm wrong, everybody, but we only have the ones that like twist in. twist in. I've never seen these until I moved here, right? So I'm sure we don't have them. Okay, yeah. That's it, perfect. Okay, all right, I'll do one more for luck. All right. Here we go. There we go. Fantastic. Super. Thank you Brilliant. very much. Brilliant, it looks very, well, you know, <laughs> I'd like to offer assistance whenever I can, even if it's super slow, <laughs> which clearly it was. Um, all right, thanks, Uncle John. Good luck with Cheerio. the wedding. What's this for? <laughs> What's this for? Do, it's you really, what? No. Can I have a go? <laughs> Who's really good at this? All of you are. Well, come on, somebody show me how it's done. What? No. No. I cannot do that. No. So you kind of have to swing it around. Like that. Yeah. There's like a whole body movement here. Yeah. Kind of? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to have a go. That Which one? Which one? Do you, that one? Okay. So it's like whole, it's kind of the whole body movement, right? Is that what you're saying? To start with. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I just wanted to hit it to start with. That was just like, okay. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was better. Was that better? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Okay, they've all laughed. They're like, she's going to be here forever. I'm going to show my husband. I can do this. You guys, you guys try doing this. That's because you're... Yeah, I heard it. I just got to finish this. Don't interrupt me. Nice. I feel like vomiting. Oh, there you go. See, my husband doubt. But as soon as my husband has an air of doubt that he verbally says, 
it motivates me. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> They're like. <laughs> Determined, determined. <laughs>